Hey everybody, welcome to what even is A Long Way Down. It's a deck-building roguelike RPG set in a dark and tormented world. Assemble your party and use your cards to survive, fight, and build your way through a dark maze of monsters orchestrated by the, an evil mastermind. Your choices will lead you to judgment. So full transparency, this game was given to me by the devs. Uh, with that being said, though, the game is not a, a paid sponsorship, so I will be giving my true and, and honest opinions on the game. But, uh, you know, coming off of, like, the massive success of Slay the Spire, you're starting to see a little bit more deck-building games coming out, and I, for one, embrace it. So a long way down, it, it has many different layers to it, and I have been playing for a little bit, but we're going to get into it. So first thing we got to do... We have conditions here. Kill six monsters in order to advance to the next level, no problem. We could also maybe try to reach a big chest island and also reach marble statue, which I think might be like some of this stuff here. But is, there's a lot of mechanics in the game and I'll do my best to go through them. But first things first, let's start getting into some combat. So we're gonna put down a tile right here, giving us a little bit of a bridge and we have two turns left of movement. We could use one move to get all the way over here and we're gonna use our next move to start the combat. So, already you have a little different take from Slay the Spire and, and some of the various other card-based roguelike games, but this is really, I think, where the game shines is in the combat. First of all, the art style is transcendent. Alright, who are we fighting? Mini Paros, he's going to be hitting us with a Starfall. Deals 65 to 70 damage. My sweet god, that's a lot. So here we have our cards. We have a basic attack, and this is determined by what weapon you equip. There are... There are, there are different weapons and items and armors that you can equip, which does change the cards that are added to your deck, as well as just adding straight cards to the deck. This card is a really good card as well. But I don't see anything that we could do to absorb some of this damage. Let's do this. Armor Blessing. Increase target's defense by 15% for 3 turns. That's going to help us a little bit, but this dude's still going to like really hurt. Removes all cur uh, curses from all allies and restores 5% health points to the caster. Not really too beneficial to us, so you know what we do? We hit him with a thrust, and you hit him with a discard, which is an ability in this game as opposed to just a mechanic. Let's get rid of uh, Penitence, and then just deal some massive damage to him. Alright, these guys hit like way harder than I thought. Some interesting mechanics here is that cards are not drawn every turn. You will only draw new cards. Let's do a blessed attack. Send him. Decrease the defense. Probably should have hit him with that first. That's my bad. You know what? Let's hit him with a lowly thrust. Cards will stay in your hand until you use them. So, like, right now we have Betrayal. Draw one card and increase the damage of an enemy by 15% for one turn. I don't really like that card. And you might be saying, well, why don't you just take it out of your deck? It's because I'm dumb. I don't like this card, but it'll stay here forever until we actually use it. So, it's it has a, a different layer. I should pro hopefully get some healing cards soon because I do have some of those in my deck, but apparently no. We're just going to get nothing but non-stop attacks, which is fine. This should kill him for this turn. Oh, I see. He has plus 79% uh, armor. That's fun. This is a really fun game. I, I <laughs> Heal. Okay. Give me some healing. Give me, give me a, a defensive-based attack. He's down to four. I can't believe it. We have 187 HP. We have to kill six of these things in order to get... This is the second level, by the way. Just just in case you were wondering like where the difficulty scope is here. It's pretty high up. When I was first playing the game... Divine Blessing. Increase target's attack by 29% for two turns. Sweet. When I first started playing the game, I was just thinking to myself... Oh, all you have to do is just attack enemies non-stop. That's not the case. There is a deep strategy involved here. We got a Fallen King. So you might have seen that there was a man who just put down a little tile here. Don't like that. That's fine, dude. Kill monsters. Honestly, this kind of helps us. I would like to fight it. You might have seen there was somebody who put, who put down a little piece there. Think of him as the game master. Honestly, he, he is there to, to screw you over a little bit, but I found that he's also there to make it so that you can't accidentally hard lock yourself out of the game like a fool because he'll just he'll kind of build bridges for you. So it's a nice little way of dealing with that. When I, when I first started playing and I saw, oh, you got to build your own platforms and everything, and you have you have to go through all that stuff. Hold on. I think this is a double thrusty. What do you Reduce target's attack by 25%. I think that's pretty good considering our HP is, like, rather low. We do have other ways of healing, but we will not be able to get to those ways of healing. You really reduced my damage by 84%. Like, are you actually out of your mind? 42 is still, like, pretty good. We gotta, we gotta buff up on some blessings here. I do not like Betrayal. We'll hit him with an Earthquake. I was worried about 
being a fool and and just dying because I didn't know how to build platforms. But then Game Master over there, he's pretty much there to make so that that never happens. So I'm happy that they thought about that. The combat itself, I do wish there was like more information. Like I can see what the enemy is doing, but I have to like go all the way up here to to read through it. I look. I'm, I'm, I'll be nice, and when I say this, I say this with love, but I mean, if you're going to go with a Slay the Spire type game, couldn't you copy, like, one of the best things about the genre, and it just tells you what every enemy is going to do? Alright, so now, we've defeated two monsters, we're going ahead. Our HP's a little bad. We do have inventory. If we uh, finish this area here and we get back to the hub world, I'll be able to go through and show you the equipment as well as the, the deck building. Also, hold on, I have potions? How do I use? I would like to use this potion. I would like 50 HP. I'm not aware. Okay, that's fine too. This is this is this is understandable. We can try to build out and around. Don't screw me over. He screwed me over, brother. But in a way, he didn't. Okay. It's gonna cost all of our turns. This is fine. We head down here. We go over here. We put down a normal boy. He's gonna start maybe sending some monsters after out of us. No, that's fine too. Okay. These uh, marble platforms here, we could use this to actually get more uh, building blocks that we could use in the overworld. So I'm very happy with that. So uh, Okay, okay. Two enemies? No problem. Half HP? They're already debuffing me down to like nothingness, dude. What do you got here? Defense is down. Power is down. He's doing a hardening. He's doing an oxidant attack. Okay. There's a lot to this game. It did start a little bit slow, and I say that with love and respect, but then like once you get past like basically the initial barrage i think discard is probably the best card we have i know we're going to be losing an armor blessing and honestly we probably should have been using it but dealing like 50 damage to all the enemies it's too good not to okay 61 hp is not where i want to be let's do a hardening which increases our defense by five percent by two turns you gotta love the power dynamic huh we have enemies that are able to reduce our damage by like 40 percent but our cards increase our, our stats by like five percent you just gotta love a well-balanced play uh fair playing field can you please not kill me? 18 damage in one turn can be done with the Blessed Attack. I don't think we're going to live for much longer, if I'm being 100% real with you. Can I access my potions in combat? Hold on. First of all, take your slabs. Build up. Okay. I do have to say... Oh my god. Drink it. Okay, what are you? Adds an additional spell cast. Increase critical chance and multiplier by 20 during the battle. That might be good. Do we want to go after this mini Paros here? The last one we fought almost killed me. So yeah, let's do it. We do have some also some weird slabs that we can make use of. I think this one destroys walls around an area. I don't know what this one does though. Let's see. Sweet, it doesn't tell me. Alright, that's fine, dude. Once again, look. You know, there, there are areas in which the game can be improved, in my opinion. And I don't think that's unfair to say. I think the, the, the battle UI needs... He's coming, dude. He meandered over at such a brisk pace. Okay, this is fine. So since the enemy did uh, inflict combat, he's going to be able to attack first, which is not good because now I have 22 freaking HP. All right. Drink. Can I ask, like, what's the point of this if I can't actually do it? Oh, you have to drag it over to your boy. Give me, give me some more. Give me some more. All right. We have four. We have now potential... To get seven turns, which is ridiculous because that's more than anything we need. I think there's nothing we can do and we will in fact die on this turn. Unfortunately. I hate saying that because it's not going to make me look too good. But hope at the very least this will show you that this game is not a joke. I'm going to die this turn. There's nothing I can do. Yep. That's it. <laughs> Ugh, that's not good. Defeat. The contents of your bag disappear. So that's, that's the only... Um, punishment for death also you lose your dust which we'll talk about but hey look now your boy can talk maybe a little bit about the hub world and we could go over some of that and maybe we could try another round at going through everything so this is the hub world we can actually play around with our inventory quite a bit here so every piece of equipment that you have in the game weapons boots i think these are belts or something but i haven't found any chest pieces armors they also increase your stats yes but then on top of that they give you another card for free so if you go into our deck, our link spells here and our basic spells, these are our equipment and this is our, our weapon. So we get these abilities for free. So Betrayer is actually coming from our chess piece, which I don't like. And then these are the rest of the cards that we put in manually. I might want to like change this a bit and put in some more healing abilities. 
only because I'm dying. So let's get rid of a hardening. Let's put in another heal. And I don't believe we have any more. But I think it's it's imperative for us to just get rid of this chest piece. Is it though? We don't have anything else to equip today, and I kind of just like the stats. So the way I'm looking at that, then we could just not do that. We could also upgrade cards. So this is very Slay the spire ass, but we could use 75 dust, which is what you get for, for beating enemies, to upgrade this from a 15% to a 21%. I don't know what the upper limit of upgrading a card is, but you know what? Yeah, give me an, uh, give me an increased armor blessing. But you can even upgrade it even further. And I'm assuming maybe this will be the last one because purple is a pretty, it's a pretty nice color for, for a tier list in RPGs. Let's try it again. Maybe this time we'll play a little bit smarter and a little bit better. And Because I do want to show off the fact that A, I know how to play this game. And since your boy has like six, 600, yeah, okay, let's be honest. Like 150 hours in Slay the Spire, hopefully I'll be able to, to show that I know what I'm doing when it comes to tactical card-based RPG roguelike. So let's try this again. All right, Mini Paros. What are you hitting me with? Increase target defense by 79% for three turns. You know what we should have done? You know what? Fine. If you're gonna increase your own defense, I'll, I'll increase my defense too, coward. Do you think you're the only one? Put in the get the damage in early before he buffs himself up. That's good. Okay. You know what we should have done. We sh probably should have taken some cards that remove uh, blessings on enemies. Cause 79 increased defense is ridiculous. Oh my god, it's so good. Deals damage equal to the caster's defense, 107 to 120. That's enough to deal, like, substantial damage. However, he's going to have this for the next three turns, which is ridiculous. And if I'm being honest with you, a little bit unfair. And I understand, well, you're supposed to work around it. Let's save these cards. We have the heal if we need it. I really want to use the defensive attack when he lowers that a little bit. And as long as he doesn't play the... Oh, my God. All right, so he's going to have 150 defense. Yeah, look, you might be saying, like, why did, you know, the whole point of this right now is to teach you to use cards that actually help you and give you a benefit. I understand that. He has 158 defense. I, I think we just cannot hurt him at this point. Let's not increase his damage. Yeah, we're doing one damage. Please, for the love of God. Hit me twice in a row, brother. I, I really don't care. You got two turns left of that. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's a little bit much. Hit him with that. We got to heal up because we have to stay on top of this. There's no way in hell that we get him with a betrayal because I don't want to buff him up anymore. Are you buffing? Okay, he's going to hit us next turn. This is actually what we want. Let's hit him with a weakening spell. Minus 25%. Now we do the dance. Hit him with a big boy attack. Really? It's because my defense buffs have worn off. Okay. <laughs> well, let's reduce his defense. We could probably hit him with an Oxidant and a Thrust. I gotta kill five of these things, like after this one. Keep that in mind. He's back up to a buff state. Not the worst for us. Remove Curses doesn't really do anything, but I'm gonna do it for like a little bit of healing, which I know is disgusting, but... Hit him with a Hardening. We gotta get our defense up, even if it's 5%. Discard, the only reason why I have Discard is to get rid of Betrayal. 100% like real with you. That's okay. 26 damage. That's that's understandable. 29. Can we do 29 damage to you? I'm also out of cards. So there is no redraw mechanic. Once you go through all the cards in your deck, please, for the love of God. 7 damage. Are you out of your freaking mind? Our deck is not built for this. That's my mistake. That's my bad. But also at the same time, look. What, what do you expect from me? Oh my God, really? It, it genuinely? Kill it, please. Thank God. Holy shit. Okay, we did get another discard though, which honestly, I'm kind of down for. Can I just drink this and have this forever? Okay, let's make our way to this treasure. Hopefully it's something good. We can also be on the lookout. I'll do it another. It's a metal shell. That gives us a shielding. Doubles current target's defense. Might actually be really good if we could survive and not die here. So he's going to destroy that. That's fine. We could, we could build our way out, no problem. It's Look, it's constant puzzle solving in this game. That's all it comes down to. What is over there? Let's try to make our way down here. I want to see what this glowing thing is. Hopefully it could be healing, but also there's another mini Paros over there. And I genuinely do not think that we could beat it, given our current situations. I gotta kill six of these things, huh? <laughs> it's not really what, I, what I'm signing up for. You know what? 
I, I've, I changed my mind based on what we're going to be doing. That's fine. Go build your stuff, dude. If you want to send demons after me, I'd honestly, like, I appreciate that even more than if anything. Because I don't want to deal with mini friggin' Paros. Let's go fight. There's a man over here. Hidden within the, 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 the golden sarcophagus chest. I think we want to build our way over there. It's going to cost us like almost all of our slabs. And honestly, I don't think we can make it there. Now that I'm looking at how much we need. We, we got to find some more slabs if we want to keep going. But, I'm dedicated to this. So this is what we're doing now. Oh, dude. You see a bonfire? That's free healing. It's honestly kind of massive. I would very much like to get that other one too. But we can only use them once. So let's save it. Hopefully get something good here. You're a lucky guy. Dice roll. Deals 1 to 80 damage to the target. I do like cards that are a little bit more RNG favorable. You know, that's the kind of stuff that I enjoy. Give Take away all skill and just make it 100% about the game. This way, if I fail, I could be like, oh, it's not up to me, dude. It's the game who decided not to give me what I needed. So really, you can't be mad at me for making these mistakes. We can, in fact, fight this. Ne never mind. Okay. Move here. End your turn. Let him come towards you. He's going to summon a monster there? No, he put out the bonfire, dude. That's fine. I think we have a good chance of beating this if we just avoid the Paros. If we go after these normal boys, whatever. Slime ball and the ghost head, who cares? Like, seriously. Armor blessing, you always got to go for increase your defense. Just in case you get the, uh, the defensive strike. I don't know which one here you would want to target first. Deterioration, thrust. I think you thrust uh, Skellboy here and you give him a little bit of deterioration. Probably should have hit that first. You, okay. Something that I've learned, even though I have not been showing it off at all, order matters. These cards all do specific things. You got to do it in the proper order. Like right now, reduce target's attack. You don't need to. However, I think you do want to heal a little bit because I don't trust myself. This one's attacking for 31 to 42. You hit him with a weakening. Bring it down. 24 to 31. It's still a lot, but it's it's a lot better. And you thrust them. Okay. Slime Ball here is still doing pretty decent damage. Plus 5 defense. Whatever. Honestly, that's fair. Like, I'll, I'll let you have that. Okay. You did get your other heal card. You use it. Do we want to thrust? Removes all curses from all allies. We don't... I, you know what? I think this is actually a good time to use that. Let's save the discard. Because we're probably going to be needing it sooner rather than later. We only have 8 cards left in the deck. I think the one that we don't like is coming up soon. So we could discard that, deal some dec decent damage. Probably kill, actually 100% kill him. Yeah, okay, cool. Discard, goodbye, betray. He's dead. Now it's just a slime ball. You want to hit him with a blessed attack? Increase caster's attack by 29%. Uh, Sweet, let's do that. I think, like, you know, the game might seem a little bit unfairly balanced towards the AI, in my opinion. However, I feel it, it's just like Slay the Spire. And I hate saying it's just like Slay, Slay the Spire because I, I really do not like it when people are like, oh, you're playing another card-based roguelike. Oh, haven't you played Slay the Spire? Look, you could have other games in a genre and still have it be banging, dude. I cannot get into that chest because it's covered by all sides. So we need to find a deterioration tile. Which we did get. Okay. Please put that in my deck if you don't mind. I would like to put that in my deck. Do I have to, like, what, keep going until it adds it all natural alley? We did kill three out of six, so these things are counting. Please, dude, I need I need that I need that thing. There it is. Okay. I don't know what is going to be in here, but we've done it. Success. We got a healing potion. You got 20 dust for upgrades. I'm going to be honest with you. Just going to drink that right away. There are three monsters in here. Best case scenario, we beat them. Pawn. Two fallen kings. Okay. Best case scenario, we beat them. And if we do, we actually clear this mission. So that's great too. Do you see how much damage is coming my way? I might like genuinely just die. <laughs> like 33 to 55, 28 to 33, 20 to 40. Well, what, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, you're hitting me for the most. So guess what? You're going to get a weakened attack. Just because you have to. Minus 25. That's still a lot, dude. Now, just because it says 25 to 41 doesn't mean he'll hit that. You know, there is like a, a, a realm for error. Increases caster attack by 17. Maybe should have played that first. All right. 
I think you go after the pawn first. For no other reason than why not. And then you pray you get the discard with the betrayal to do like decent damage all around. Armor blessing, you have to. I think you also have to use penitence. Harden? More defense, please. Give me that for the healing. Get rid of my curses. You didn't get rid of that one? Well, you only get rid of one? Right, because it would be too... It would be unfair to the monsters if I had a card that actually removed all of my all of my cursings, right? We just do one at a time. Oh, I was bleeding for 20 damage. That's also very fair. I really like that. Okay, we're gonna die. And there's nothing I could do. So let's just go out swinging as hard as we can. We'll hit you with that. I'm gonna straight up discard and deal damage. Might as well get rid of the thrust that does 23 damage. We killed one boy! 30 to 40, 25 to 38. Uh, there's, I can't, I can't. That's it. Oh! We have 48 defense! Okay, we're not dead yet. We are running out of good cards though, but that means our healing card should be coming up soon. Okay, heal. Heal is very important right now. Decrease target's defense. Defensive attack is what we want. We can use this to kill one. It does 87 to 100. I'm going to play it safe. Go after the dude who only has 50 HP. There's one. What? I have 24 HP. Was I bleeding again? I can't afford to bleed. Uh, to bleed. Okay, we got a heal. 53. He has 100. We could do this. We could do this. I believe in myself. Decrease their defense. He's hitting for 35 to 42. It's not enough to kill us. That's fine. Increase the caster's attack for two turns. That's what we want. He's down to 76. Okay, 26. 53 to 79. Okay, that's not good. For some reason, we can't play Betrayal. Because we don't have any more cards. Please do 40 damage. 40, okay. Kill it. It's been done! He has ascended in the game! Oh! Success. Give me my dust. Continue. No, no, no. Next level. I'm out. We've done it. <laughs> well, there you go. That, boys and girls of the Fae Tribe, is a long way down. A brand new deck building roguelike RPG. As I said, the key was given to me by the game devs. However, the opinions reflected in this video were that of myself and no one else's. I do think this game has really good potential. I, I think like the weakest part of the game right now is the map building, in my opinion. If, if I had to be 100% real with you, I think that needs another look at it. And also, just tell me what the enemies are going to do like straight up. Don't make me have to like scroll up to a corner, okay? I'm not, I'm not a monster here. Either way, very good game. We might be able to upgrade some of my cards, too. I will continue to play this game because I do like it. Give me more banishment, please. Make it affect everything. Anyway, yes. This was a long way down. If you like this game, you'll be able to find it on Steam as of right now. If this video is up, that means the game is officially released. Uh, I had the game before that, but, you know, I didn't really make much use of it because I'm still bad at it, as you can probably see. Hey, if you like the episode, hit the like button. It really does help me out. Of course, you want to see more of my content in the future. Hit the subscribe button. Join the Fae Tribe. My name is Fireball. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.